guys, it's me back again. I decided to come up with Halloween Makeup Monday and I asked on my Instagram if y'all would like it if I do Halloween makeup only for Monday. So a lot of people were actually positive about it. Guess what? Here we are now. That was also like my dream to even do this kind of makeup look. Today's makeup look is inspired by Kuchisake Ona. And for those who don't know who Kuchisake Ona is, she is a slit face ghost in Japan. It was said in Japan that she turned into an evil spirit and basically the story is she appears in front of people at night with a mask on and she asks them, am I beautiful? And if the person says yes, she removes her mask slowly and then she asks again and if the person gets scared and says no, she cuts his face as similar to her. Somehow I'm inspired by this woman, not gonna lie. So yeah, if you want to know how I did this look, keep on watching. Let's get started. As you can see, I've already done my face, my base, my eyes, just because I didn't want to use a lot of time and focus only on my this part. Sake Ona is supposed to look beautiful with her mask on. I really wanted to focus more on my lips, my mouth, and not on my eyes so I decided to go with more of the subtle look so first I'm taking the fit me compact and I'm going to use it all over my lips to make them dry now that I'm done mattifying my face I'm going to use a Maybelline eyeliner I'm going to mark those places where I want my makeup to be so yeah I'm just taking some school glue and try to glue this part of my face so remember to use non-toxic glue because it's really near your mouth after that i'm taking any normal cotton swab putting it up with some cotton and letting that stick in my mouth now i'm not somebody who does vfx on a lot of times as i'm very new to this like i'm taking some glue onto my hands using my fingers i'm just going to put it all over this part using this near those parts now let this dry so now that my lips are feeling dry and more of stretched i'm going to use makeup so i'm taking my fit me foundation i'm taking it onto my hand I'm going to use it all over here after this i'm taking on my red cinnamon blush from faces and i'm going to put the same brush make my face look more red using this i'm taking up some more a darker red and using the same brush and i'm doing this to get the pigment on my brush going ahead with some eyeshadow which is red and i'm literally creating lines with my flat brush next up i'm taking some lipstick and using it directly onto my lips i'm going ahead with one of the darker shades in this palette and i'm going to define it even more with a darker lipstick i'm going to darken my lips more i'm going to use a liner onto my face yeah, I'm taking some more of the black and defining those edges which I created black right now to continue these lines. This I'm using the same brush which I used before for applying those lipstick and I'm just sweating up those marks a little bit more. I'm going to give a little more definitions with the black color and going to fill those edges where my mouth where the lines and mouth are open. I'm going to use this brush. This is an angle brush, which is really small and very helpful for this. Yeah, this is the finished look. It's like the first time I've tried something with VFX and I'm not a VFX artist because I am more of the glamorous type of person and this is something that I've tried and I really like this. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And see you next time.